Welcome to the Skybox demo on how to prioritize remediation for the quickest risk reduction. Today we'll take a look at how the Skybox Solutions view identifies your top remediation solutions so you can select the option that most positively impacts your risk score and remediates the largest number of vulnerabilities for affected assets. This solution is critical in a world where the attack surface continues to expand. Every day, IoT, industrial IoT, and other non-traditional devices join the network while companies continue to rapidly adopt cloud technologies. Each new device, technology, or initiative brings its own set of vulnerabilities which continue to overwhelm security teams. This complex environment is attractive to adversaries whose sophisticated techniques target more and more companies, resulting in successful and costly breaches. There are multiple options to remediating vulnerabilities. Some may be more expedient, cost-effective, or lower risk to undertake than patching, depending on the nature of the environment, the vulnerability, and the exploitation conditions. With Skybox, you can see beyond patching and remediate enterprise-wide by selecting the remedi remediation option that closes the most gaps or impacts the most assets. Here, you can see that mitigating by IPS would remediate the largest number of assets in this particular environment. Now I'd like to introduce you to the Skybox Solutions view. It's a sub-module within Vulnerability Control, so let's go into Vulnerability Control. Here you can see the Solutions sub-module or view under the Prioritization module. As you might have seen from previous demos, Skybox not only prioritizes vulnerabilities by showing you those that are exposed to a threat actor, but also shows you the best remediation option for each vulnerability. The goal now is to be able to show you a different point of view, to show you the most suitable solution to apply when you can consider how many vulnerabilities it will fix, how many critical vulnerabilities it will remediate, or how it will reduce your risk score of your assets and help you to make the right choice before you apply that solution. So I'm selecting the solutions view from the drop down here but you can also add your own view that is easily customizable. You'll be able to filter on all the fields based on that predefined template. So now here are the fields. You can see a list of solutions. In this case, the top solution is a patch. This patch addresses the largest number of vulnerability definitions. You can see the description, you can see the vulnerability occurrences that can be fixed if this solution is applied, and then counters for the number of directly exposed, exploited in the wild, and critical vulnerabilities. You can also see the number of assets impacted by the solution. There are also two numbers to help you track and monitor overall risk reduction from applying the solution represented in two ways, a reference score and a percentage. This reference score ties to the overall risk score of all the assets in the network model. If I go back to the dashboard here, you can see how this patch will then impact the overall risk score. So as I compare this reference score with the overall risk score of assets in the network model, I can see the percentage of risk reduction that this patch will have on my overall risk score. So I can drill into the solution and I can see the list of vulnerability definitions, the list of vulnerabilities, a list of affected assets, and information about them. In the second half of the demo, I'll walk through three scenarios where the solutions view can help you remediate by operating system, device type, or at the vulnerability level. But in the meantime, feel free to reach out to us at skyboxsecurity.com to schedule a live demo with a technical expert. Thank you for watching. This is part two of the demo showing the Skybox solutions view. Part one of the demo introduced you to this new feature. We showed you how this new feature simplifies and accelerates your remediation plan by prioritizing the best solutions that remediate the most vulnerabilities or assets. In this demo, we will walk through three scenarios you'll find useful. How to see the best solution by operating system, by device type, or from the point of view of the vulnerability. 
We'll also look at how to set up dashboards so you can always have the most current view of the solutions that matter most to your remediation plan. Let's get started. In this first example, let's assume you'd like to see the best solution for your Windows 10 machines. I've already created a view for Windows 10 and I'm now selecting it. Now I can see all the available solutions for Windows 10. The filter was defined on product name Windows 10, but you'll see you can select other operating system types. You can also filter down to only the solutions that apply to your environment. Here you'll see I've selected patch and upgrade as the only options I'd like to compare, but you can see there are several options that you can choose from. So now we have the list and you can immediately see the patches available and most importantly, the patch that would fix the largest number of vulnerability definitions or the most Windows machines. In this second scenario, we'd like to view the remediation options for FortiGate, looking specifically at the Mitigate by IPS solution. Here in this filter, we selected the solution type we need, Mitigate by IPS, and then we also filtered on the IPS vendor being FortiGate. Again, you can see the details for this single solution. Another use case you'll find useful is to look at the solutions from the point of view of the vulnerability. Let's say you're interested in a specific CVE related to an asset of high importance that is also exploited in the wild. You may now want to understand the possible solutions for this CVE, which in this case is a remote code execution vulnerability. So we click the details arrow, go to the solutions tab, and you can scroll through the list of solutions, ignoring the top solutions, but you might find one that you want to explore further. For example, you might want to know what assets would be impacted if you were to go with this solution, which is Mitigate by IPS. So I'll copy this solution, go back to the solutions view. Earlier, as you saw earlier, we can now create a view based on this Mitigate by IPS solution by using the appropriate filters. Now, if you click the details arrow, you can see the affected assets and how the solution reduces risk. Let's take a look at how to use a dashboard to give you the big picture view of the solutions that matter most to your remediation plan. Here's a dashboard I built for Windows 10. I'll show you how easy it is to build these widgets. So I'm simply going to build a dashboard from a view that I created earlier. It's a solutions view for Windows 10. I'm also going to reuse the filters that we had defined. I can now select the max operator on the property called exploited in the wild vulnerabilities. So in this dashboard, you can see all the top solutions from views we created for solutions that remediate the most exploited vulnerabilities the most critical vulnerabilities, and the largest number of impacted assets. I also added a table that shows the details of the top three solutions that could reduce risk across the enterprise for Windows 10 machines. Thank you for watching part two of this demo. We invite you to visit us at www.skyboxsecurity.com to request a live demo of the Skybox Vulnerability Control product.